Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, a lot of you out there may know uh, movies such as Goodfellas, The Bronx Tale, HBO's Gotti, right? All great movies. But there's one that you probably haven't even heard of yet that is released this year. And it's probably one of the greatest mafia flicks to come out. Let's talk about that in just a moment. So the movie I want to talk about is called Fresh Kills. Now, this movie is not about the bravado of the men or the masculinity of the males in organized crime. No, this is about the silent stories that you don't hear on the inside of the families, the internal family, the father's interaction with the mother or the daughters, the silent woman in these families. And this is told from a very unique perspective, and I think... It really hits the point home. This is a film that I think everybody should see. I haven't even seen it yet because it's not playing in theaters near me, which is a shame. So to all the movie chains out there, this is something you should really pick up because this could follow the same success as Goodfellas. Uh, it could even follow the same success as The Godfather. This could be something that would be a major hit right now with people starving for good movies. And this is a great movie just from the trailers alone you can really feel the emotion and the acting and the writing in this is fantastic it's a phenomenal job done by the whole cast everything just comes together and when you watch these clips of the movie or when you watch the trailer for the movie it's like you really feel it you really feel the emotion that these characters are going through and I think this is an important story to tell because everyone has a story, but some stories have never been heard before. And this story about the woman in an Italian-American family that is around organized crime or involved in organized crime, nobody ever really hears their stories. Everybody looks at the family as, okay, well, they got money, they're successful, or you know, we might be afraid of the males in the family because we don't want to upset them. Or, you know, people might be paranoid of them because of the consequences of becoming friends with them and the possibilities of eventually law enforcement or media. But what about the woman? What about the woman? This is about the woman. This is about how the daughters interact with the fathers. This is about what the families do internally to survive. And there is a lot of trauma there is a lot of trauma that goes through these families, whether most people realize it or not, but it's never talked about. And this movie, you need to see it. This movie, you need to talk about it. You need to hear these stories. And it is doing so well right now on Rotten Tomatoes, seeing the audience score and the critic score. I am impressed. I, I don't even know what to say. Jennifer Esposito, You've done an amazing job here. And I just want the whole world to know about your project. Now, I know what some people might be thinking. Well, you know, the stories about the men are interesting. Let's talk, you know, but what about the glue that holds these families together? And a lot of times you'll find out it's it's the women that hold these families together. It's the women that get things done in the families. It's the women that pay the bills. It's the women that, that do everything. And they deserve a spotlight. They just, they really deserve it. So, all I can say is, I hope that this gets a national release. I hope that theater chains see this and they're like, wow, we need some good movies right now and this would be a great movie to show. And all too often, all too often, people dismiss or, or think that it's another mafia trope or um, it's only going to sell if, if we have the violent men in it constantly or, but no, like we see tons of movies out there that talk about trauma and, and women and, and they do well in their own right. Right. So why not show what these women go through in, in Italian American organized crime families? Like, I don't, I don't think it's fair if you don't see this. I don't think it's fair if chains don't put this out there. This, this is something that is cinematic art. It's, it's gold. Who else can tell the story besides people 
that might have been around it or might have seen it or might have lived in those neighborhoods. Because if you if you really haven't lived in those neighborhoods or you haven't uh, been around it, you're not going to know. Now, I know what you're thinking. You know, maybe you just want to see, I don't know, the tough guys in the mob or another Goodfellas or, you know, another uh, Bronx Tale or another casino, right? I mean, some people might be thinking that, and, and, and I get it. But what about the what holds the families together? And that is the woman on the inside, the woman that struggle, the woman that, that try to maintain a, a, a social presence amongst their friends and, and they just keep trying and keep trying to keep going no matter what's going on on the inside of the family. And a lot of times people don't, you know, they, they dismiss it or they might not even see it. And a lot of, you know, you're never going to hear these stories, but these women... They can't get help outside the families. There's nowhere they can really turn to for help. Very rarely would would somebody ever help the woman in these families. Um, so, their stories they they need to be heard. So let's hear it. So if you're a theater chain or somebody in charge of a theater chain, on on uh, picking up movies, this is one that you should really pick up. I really hope you do. Hey, if you're a streaming service. And you're looking for a great movie or you're looking for great content, please put this movie in there. Please make a deal and get this movie in there. I I really want to see this. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that feels this way. I'm sure there's a lot of people that after they saw that trailer or or they saw the Tribeca Film Festival pressers or or Chaz's show, I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to see this. You just gotta put it out there. You, I'm going to go ahead and link all the um, social media stuff in the description below and link to the actors involved. Um, I would say all their names, but I'm sure I'm going to get some of them wrong. But it's it's really a star-studded cast here. And it looks like everybody was happy to be involved in this project. And that just tells you something. That tells you that the writing's great. It tells you that the atmosphere is great. It tells you that the direction is great. And that's cinematic gold. You can't ask for anything more. So, uh, Jennifer, great job on this movie. I hope to see it one day. And I will link the uh, the Fandango information below where people can pre-purchase it as well. But to everybody, until next time, see you guys later. <laughs>